I'm here with Father Jesse, our new pastor. Thank you. Happy to be here. Father Jesse, welcome to the Our Lady of the Angels Chapel. Beautiful. Thank you. In fact, my very first parish was Our Lady of the Angels. I just realized that right no now. No kidding. How yeah. fitting. Exactly. Mary is with us, and um, there's a special plan of Mary on, uh, in this chapel. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. This is your first time walking around the site, is that right? It is. My very first time. What do you yep. think, being, uh, being under the steel? Beautiful. I can already imagine everything that's going to take place. Uh, the altar, obviously the focus of what happens liturgically. can imagine Mary being a statue of Mary, Our Lady Queen of the Angels. Uh, the pews, we're standing probably right in that's the midst right. of the yeah. pews. It's, the skeleton is up, but soon all the, the rest will be there. So, But we're, we're moving along. Yeah? That's right. We'll be here before so, we know it. Sometime next spring we'll that's be in right. a complete chapel back that's here. That's it, yeah. You came in at a strange time. We were in the middle of building this chapel. Uh, exactly. It's been under uh, work for, for years now, really. Right. Went from its inception as, a, as an idea to now having this structure, it's very true what the scripture says. Some sow, some reap. And so what we see is the fruit of a lot of sowing. Maybe um, when Father Tom was here and all of those parishioners who uh, got behind him and started working to make this a reality. So yeah, I came uh, as the foundation had, all, had just been laid and some of the steel structures were already up. But um, so like I said, some sow, some reap. And uh, well, I guess we can say I'm still sowing. Um, so we hope to reach the moment when we can open it, inaugurate it, bless it. There's a special beautiful rite uh, for the blessing of a church. That's what we're working towards. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Before you arrived uh, in the winter, we had a special groundbreaking ceremony here right. on the church. We had our, our former pastor, Bishop Schultz, Beautiful. here, and he, yeah. he blessed the grounds. Great. We thought it might be fitting for you to um, similarly leave a mark here um, right. on the chapel sure. um, in the form of one of your favorite scripture verses. Right. And maybe you could uh, give us an explanation of that verse. Sure. Well, the uh, scripture verse that I've chosen to write on the beam is Luke 2, 19, chapter 2, 19. And the phrase is, and Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. And the reason I think that's a beautiful scripture to write is because I know that as the chapel starts to function or starts to invite people, countless people will come here with their prayers, with all these uh, needs, desires, uh, petitions in their hearts and they will present them to Jesus, who will be the heart of the chapel in the tabernacle. And so as we know, as we, we've already said, compared Mary to the tabernacle that contains Jesus, the Ark of the Covenant that contained the law of Moses, the chalice that contains the precious blood, so too this chapel will contain all those people living a Christian life who will come to the heart of Jesus and present and uh, pray just pray so many sufferings that are going on, so many needs, so many petitions. And so all of that will be brought uh, and Mary, like a mother, will welcome them and take them to her son. So that's why I think it's so important uh, to remember Mary. Right. Also, this chapel is Our Lady, Queen of the Angels, isn't that? Our Lady of the Angels Chapel. Our Lady of the Angels Chapel, so yeah. No more fitting verse for, for this yes. chapel than that. Exactly. So. Father, thanks so much for sharing that. Uh, I can think of no more fitting verse uh, than that to, to, to place in the early Thank you. Chapel. Thank you. And let's thank all of the people who have made this chapel possible, all the donors, all those who pray, all those who continue to support this uh, chapel. 
uh, Father Tom, even uh, uh, Bishop Schultz, who also laid the foundations of this parish, um, and everyone who in some way, even from the silence of their homes, continue to pray and support uh, this very needed chapel of Our Lady of the Angels. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Father. You're welcome. Welcome to St. Anthony's. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Stay tuned for more content from the Our Lady of the Angels Chapel.